We're going to be looking at Vericut's additive capabilities for simulating additive manufacturing and hybrid processes. This simulation is for a DMG Mori LaserTech hybrid machine building a stainless steel part. Vericut uses a digital twin virtual machine to process the same G-code programs that will run on the real machine. This is the best way to catch as many problems as possible, including unique rapid and five axis motions, machine specific functions like cutter comp and tool length compensation, looping, branching logic, and more. This NC program uses a series of variables and a macro to set the machine's additive functions. The digital twin machine processes the NC code just as the real machine would and performs those same actions. A configurable head-up display offers a convenient way to be able to see important machine information like the axis positions and additive function status. Getting closer to the action, we can step through the NC program and see the laser come on and additive material starting to be applied. Material is only added when conditions are appropriate to do so. Additive parameter settings are also validated to be within specified ranges for proper cladding. A red error color highlights problems such as incorrect additive conditions, collisions with machine components or additive equipment, and collisions with clamps or fixtures, as well as other error conditions. Error messages clearly identify the problems detected and are interactive. Just click on them to quickly identify the NC program and block which caused it. Brightly colored alert symbols also identify blocks with problems. Hover over a symbol to see what the problem was. For a quick fix, you can edit the NC program and save the new file. Or you can continue the simulation to see what other problems may be lurking. Multiple views are handy for improving viewing. For example, one that shows what's happening on the machine and another of just the part being built without the machine's components or enclosure to obstruct viewing of the build process. This part build strategy uses alternating combinations of cladding and turning, cladding and milling, then drilling. The animation slider can be used to slow the simulation down or speed it up. Vericut simulates add, cut, or cut then add in any order and across any number of machining setups, including post-process finished machining operations. If we zoom in closer and have a look at the part, notice the positive material has a rough, realistic clad appearance, easy to distinguish from machine surfaces, which are smooth. This is very helpful when identifying that all part features requiring machining have actually been cut. Vericut's unique droplet technology embeds information into additive material, including which toolpath, block, and tool deposited it. This saves valuable time identifying root causes of misplaced material, voids, and part features that weren't properly machined, since this information is just a click away. If we continue the simulation, we see the red error color once again, with messages indicating collisions have been detected with the non-cutting shank of the tool. This suggests the current drill tool or additive build sequence won't work as planned. Better to find that out now rather than running in the shop on an expensive hybrid machine tool. Collisions or misused additive equipment can be dangerous and expensive to repair on specialty equipment like additive or hybrid machines. 
it can also be difficult to find replacement parts or technicians to make the necessary repairs. And while that machine is down, oftentimes there is no alternate plan for making an additive part. So it just makes sense to do everything you can, including simulating G-code programs on digital twin machines to prevent crashes and additive mishaps before they happen on the real machines.